So LIDAR or light detection and ranging, um, or commonly known as just laser scanning, uses lasers to precisely measure objects sort of um, in the distance. Um, and what this, what, how this is different to photogrammetry is that this is an active form of remote sensing. So instead of relying on a light source, ref reflecting off of an object and into the, into the sensor, um, LiDAR actually emits its own light source. So in infrared lasers, uh, at a very high uh, density and waits for them to be reflected off of an object. So what that means is that you can control the levels of energy being sent out by that sensor um, very accurately. And it means you can measure distances very accurately. And I, a very basic way to compare this is if anyone's bought or sold a home is when the estate agent goes around with their little laser pointer um, that they put on the wall and measure the distances between the two walls to sort of get the dimensions of a room. Laser scanners are doing that up to half a million times per second um, and measuring sort of um, those distances and collecting millions upon millions of points every minute um, in an area. Um, so some of the benefits of this, that you can get, gather terrain levels even in vegetated areas. You get more details on complex structures such as pylons and cables. Um, and data is actually really quick uh, to process and classify because the majority of the work has already been done by the, by the sensor. So compared to photogrammetry when you get images out and you need to stitch those images together and calculate sort of the um, heights and, and values via trigonometry, obviously, we don't do that ourselves, computers do that these days. Um, a lot of the data is already uh, processed and collected in situ with, with LIDAR. So instead of hours, it takes minutes to process. Again, some of the benefits. So I'll go into one of these in particular on the next slide. So can peer through vegetation to get ground levels. So one of the common um, common things that people say about LIDAR is that it can penetrate through vegetation. And I prefer to uh, say it slightly differently. So I, we say that it can peer through uh, vegetation because LIDAR cannot physically get through vegetation. It doesn't actually shoot through them. Uh, what it does do though, is manage to find the gaps in canopies and in vegetation um, because of this dense field of energy that it's putting down on the ground and get reflections from terrain levels uh, via that way. So I always describe it to, to people who sort of don't know how the technology used, it, um, works as if you're laying or well, looking up uh, at the sky on a nice summer's day in, in the woods and you see all of those bits of, lights bits of light coming through and twinkling, that's essentially what LiDAR is doing is peering through the gaps in the trees to get to the ground. And what this obviously allows you to do is gather terrain levels more reliably than, um, than photogrammetry in those areas. And here's just a um, diagram of the difference between a digital surface model, is with, with, which is what you typically get with photogrammetry uh, when you haven't post-processed it, and a digital terrain model, which you can get with LiDAR with some very simple classification afterwards. And here's just an example of that in practice. So you can see down here at the bottom, you've got the terrain levels. Uh, and at the top there, you can see where it's actually catching some of the vegetation. But you can see the majority of the um, information is still being collected from, from the terrain levels, terrain levels there. And that's really the thing that us as surveyors and, and data, data capture specialists want to get. The, tr the trees and the vegetation aren't really uh, that interesting to most people building um, building things. And then here's an example of how LiDAR can be used to collect more accurate information on um, complex structures and sort of maybe like see-through structures like pylons. Whereas with photogrammetry, uh, it's very difficult to do this with LiDAR. It's re really quite easy. You can see the detail you're getting on them. <laughs> 